Hello Internet. Good morning. Uh, I got to sleep in this morning like I said I was going to and it was absolutely wonderful. Uh, this morning we are talking about Proverbs chapter 3. Uh, did you enjoy Proverbs chapter 2? Um, hopefully you're getting something out of these videos that uh, they're a little bit fun. Uh, you get to see a whole other side of my life and uh, you're being somewhat encouraged and or challenged through uh, the verses. But uh, Proverbs chapter 3 is a chapter that I, I read a lot growing up. Um, I, I memorized a lot of these verses, and so they mean a lot to me. Uh, specifically, uh, the verses, um, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. Um, I, I memorized those verses growing up, and they were very meaningful to me, uh, but there is profound truth in those. Now, I understand that my atheist viewers, you probably would take issue with those. I get that. Uh, for you for you guys, I'm curious what you think about the last part of Proverbs chapter 3. Um, just solid wisdom. I'm curious what your input is on that. But for the verses that I just quoted you, I think they're... Uh, Five through nine, five through nine. Um, it's immensely hard to trust God when you don't know what's going on. Case in point, um, when I moved up here to Kentucky, uh, I was single. Uh, it's not that big of a deal to go out on a limb when you're single. Uh, I had everything paid for. It wasn't. It was a challenge. I had a girlfriend at the time, and we continued in a long distance relationship. Uh, but it wasn't that terribly hard. Uh, got up here, decided I wanted to get married to her. We got engaged. A year later, we got married. And then we moved the family. Um, as you know, I have two stepdaughters. Um, so it is much harder to trust God when it's not just you. Uh, not, I'm a planner, and I like to plan everything out. I like to know we're going to have enough money. We're going to do this on this day. Um, things are going to get taken care of. And... When you move 11 hours away from home, you are newly married, uh, you're a brand new father, um, it's incredibly scary. So we had to trust God. I mean, there was no way that I could plan for that. There's no way that I could take care of all of those variables. And uh, it was very hard. And there have been times uh, in this past year when we didn't know how we were going to pay the next bill. But we would pray and just trust God. I did a video about that. I just There was one time where we didn't know we, how we were going to pay a bill, and I went and checked my student post office box, and there was a lot of cash. There was another time that we were hurting financially, um, and there was a scholarship application for a scholarship that I didn't even request. And there's a good chance that I'm going to get in my student post office box. Needless to say, I like to check my student post office box now. But it's little things like that, like, you know, Lord, we're, we're, we're struggling with finding friends, and that very day, we have an hour-long conversation with another couple. Like, when you start trusting God for your life, uh, you recognize that you don't have all the answers. Uh, you recognize that you're not the wisest person in the world. God comes through. If you're walking with him, he takes care of you. Anyway, I appreciate your thoughts on those verses. Um, more to come later. Uh, this is a long segment. I don't know what I'm doing today. Today is Saturday. I know I have to go finish working that wedding. Uh, I do know that I'm probably going to film a video on homosexuality coming out of this human sexuality class. That should be interesting to stir the pot a little bit. I am going to go eat breakfast, and I will see you in a little bit. So I just got finished editing day two's video and filming and editing the video on homosexuality. Now I have a huge headache. So uh, I'm thinking the rest of the day I'm going to be fat and lazy on the couch, even though I need to do some homework. But uh, I think Netflix is calling calling my name right about now. And it's been weird. Um, watching these videos, I've been going, I don't spend a lot of time with other people lately. And then I was thinking, why is that? That would be because my kids are in Mississippi with their father. Um, I being a stepfather, they're with their father for a couple weeks. And I was wondering why my life was so quiet. <laughs> that's, that's why. 
Uh, so I'm waiting for my wife to get home from work today. Uh, she unfortunately has to work on Saturdays. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to be nice and lazy. <laughs> I'll see you in a little while. <laughs> internet, be glad I love you. I had to come to a hotel to upload my video today because my internet at the house is so slow. It was going to take me an hour or more to upload what took me 10 minutes here. Kind of ridiculous. I don't know why I pay them. I hate cable. I used to have DSL. I hate cable, internet. Anyway, I am going to go sneak up past the, uh, the um, some wedding bridal shower thing that's here. It's kind of awkward walking in and be like, oh, I need to use the internet. Anyway, uh, I've got to go get ready because I have to go work. It may even be the same wedding that I have to go work in just a little bit. But I will see you soon. So when I was coming up with the concept of doing these, uh, these daily vlogs, I had no idea that I would be talking to you so much in the car. But it seems to be a good time to do so. Uh, talk, thinking through uh, Proverbs chapter 3. The be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It's been sitting on me today. Because I've been thinking about it. And it's so easy to think yourself so wise. And that you're above whatever. Uh, as soon as you start thinking like that, you're going to fall. Uh, it happens all the time. You start thinking you're, you're above the law or you're above protecting yourself uh, against something or that you're above guarding yourself from things. And as soon as you think that you're just so smart and have it all figured out, it just comes crashing down around you. You see that all the time. And have you ever run into a super wise person? Somebody who's just known for their wisdom and their intelligence and uh, their character. They're not the type to pat themselves on the back for anything that they've ever done. They're not the type to, um, to, to stand there and say, I've got it all figured out. Typically, those people are the ones who say they have it figured out the least. And I think that's part of what makes them so wise. They recognize that it's not them. They recognize that it, uh, it's nothing that they can do. What do you think? What's your thoughts on this? Let me know. I've got to go work this wedding. Uh, I feel like I need to call this my car diaries. Uh, it's not like I could film in there while I was working a wedding. That's just unprofessional. But, uh, boy, there's some weddings that... Uh, are really easy and there are some that are not and this was not glad that's over um, yeah you know it's funny because I was saying just uh, before I got there to uh, be not wise in, in your own eyes I've run sound quite a few times and I can get somewhat puffed up especially when people question that um, yeah I, uh, there was a point in the wedding where I had to fade out some music and fade in another um, song. Faded out the music and wondering why it's still playing. So I had to just click over. It was a little disruptive. Uh, not terribly. I didn't realize I had somebody's monitor on. And the sound was still coming through their monitor. I need to be careful and take my own advice. I'll take Proverbs advice. Be not wise in your own eyes. Yeah. Oh, I'm home and I'm glad to be home after. I went a bad day. Just the wedding went fun. But what did you think about Proverbs chapter 3? Have you read it yet? Hopefully you have. If you're watching the videos, hopefully you're engaging with this, on this with me. Uh, seriously, it will take three minutes. My wife thinks I'm talking to her. She didn't realize I'm, I'm, I'm vlogging here. I can pull a shake curl. I'm vlogging here. Um, so make sure you go. Uh, read that and leave your comments, uh, your thoughts about the verse or the video down below. If you, feel, if you feel inspired to do a video response, the video is now open for that. And uh, if you really like the videos, make sure you tell your friends or tweet it or ask your subscribers to come and watch. And I would thank you. I am about to go see what my wife is making for dinner. Uh, it looks like pizza. Homemade pizza. It is the best stuff. Ooh, and she's... Mm. <laughs> This is why I've gained weight this year. <laughs> Have a great day. God bless.